it's impossible for God to lie. Y'all ain't know what he's talking about, the presence behind the veil. Let me explain a little to you uh, a little bit. In the Old Testament, when the people sinned, they had priests, but they had someone they called the high priest. He was the only one anointed and permitted to go into what they called the holies of holies. You'll look up other definitions where help and hope is explained as holiness. And so they were able to go into the holies of holies. And this high priest, they would tie a rope around him. He would go behind what they call a veil or a curtain. A place where they had set up. An altar where they had set up. And the presence of God was there. He would make atonement for their sins. He would give blood offerings for their sins. If they'd done anything that year, once a year, he went behind the veil. And he offered atonement. But let me explain the veil to you. Look in the book of Matthew and in the gospel when Jesus was crucified. Yes, One passage of scripture says the veil was rent. Y'all ain't understand. This was a thick, thick, heavy curtain. Thicker and you could not rip it with your hands nor cut it. It would have taken two ox or bulls to pull it apart. But the Bible said the veils was rent because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus' blood was shed for all of us. So that we have hope in him. Now we all can go boldly to the throne of grace behind the veil into the holies of the holies into the presence of God. Romans said we are righteous because he is righteous. Says we have access to the Father through the Spirit. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in him. I live, I move. I... We are chosen generation. We are a royal priesthood. A holy nation. Peculiar people. We can go behind the veil. That's what he's talking about. We can get behind the veil. Praise him. I said praise him. First Peter 1 and 3. First Peter 1 and 3. Praise the Lord. I'll get back to the definition, but I'm having a little fun right now. Praise him. My hope is built on substance. My hope is built on promises. My hope is built on the word of God. It's not just a wish I'm going to see it. I'm not wishing I win against the city. I win. I'm not just desiring that I win. I win. I'm not just wishing to see the victory. I got the victory. I'm not just wishing to stand on the rock. He lifted me out of the mire clay, set me on a solid rock, established my going so people can see it and trust him. I have expectation. Anybody here have expectation? Anybody here believe God, you're going to see the glory of the Lord in the land of the living? I would have given up if I did not believe. But I believe I'm going to see the glory of the Lord in this land. Not when I die, not just when I get over in glory. I already know that's taken care of. I already know what he promised on that end. But he came that I might have life and have it more abundantly. First Peter 1 and 3. Read aloud. Bless. That means you ought to praise him and lift him up. Bless be God and Father of who? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Who? According to his abundant mercy has begotten us again. How? To a living hope. How did he do it? Through the Jesus didn't just die, but he got up. The veil was not just rent. It's thrown away. And now we can go to the throne. And Jesus is sitting on the throne. Anybody have a reason to live? Anybody have a living hope? Not just when I die, when I see Jesus, when it's all over. 
too many Christians getting born again and saved just to die. God wants you to live. And live life abundantly. How many expect to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? I said, how many expect to see the goodness of God? Tell your neighbor, I ain't going to be suffering always. Say, I'm not going to be broke always. I'm not going to be going through what I'm going through always. Tell them I got hope. Tell them I got living hope. Tell them I may be hurting now. But I found somebody that can help me. His name is Jesus. God I got a living hope we got a living hope through the what resurrection of Jesus from the dead such a neighbor say he's not dead he's yet alive it's not over yet When they crucified him, they thought they, they thought they put a squash to this 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 foolishness. They put a squash to this gospel. They put an end to this rebel. But the Bible said even the Roman soldier that was there at the foot of his cross, when the earth began to reel and rock, and when it turned night at noontime and began to rain, the Roman soldier said, "Surely this must have been the Son of God." But it was over there they put him in a borrowed tomb for three long days but on the third day the rock moved off and in front of the rock the rock inside of the rock came out of the rock stood on the rock and say I got all power in my hands it's the resurrection of Jesus that gives me hope How I many know you can put Jesus' name on anything you're going through and say, in the name of Jesus, I call those things into existence that God has already promised. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him. I was going to kindly teach this morning, but there's an anointing to preach. How y'all following me? The foolishness of preaching will save some of y'all. Some of you are going to stand up on your feet today and say, I can do it. I believe God. I can accomplish it. I can have it. I can become it. I can have whatever God say I can have. I can become whatever God say I can become. I can do whatever God say I can Praise him. Praise him. I'm a winner, not a loser. I got the victory, praise the Lord. I got my breakthrough on the way. Holy, I got a living hurt. It's not when I die, but while I'm alive, I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Somebody shout glory. Praise him. Let's finish the definition. Let's finish the definition. Come on and bless him. So read the second definition again. Confidence in the, a future event. The highest degree of the will of what? Founded expectation of the good. As a hope founded on God's gracious promises. A scriptural sense. Number three, everybody read aloud. What is hope? That which gives, the word of God gives hope. He or that which furnishes grounds of expectation. Or what? How many know Jesus is our hope? His word is our hope. It's, it, 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 it establishes promises what? Desire good. 
the Lord will be the what? You'll find that in Joel chapter 3. That's J-O-E-L, Joel chapter 3. The Lord will help his people, Israel. The Lord will be the hope of his people. He says that um, even though y'all been through, even though you've been in captivity, even though you've been in bondage, even though people have messed over you, even though you've been used, he said, I'm going to raise you up in the midst of all these nations. God will never forsake us. He's married to the backslider. Some of y'all done messed up so in life you act like there's no hope. Let me tell you, if your hope is built on you, it's no hope. But if your hope is built on Jesus. What is the primary rule to hope? What is the primary word? To reach and to extend. God just waiting on some of y'all to reach out. And so he allow you to go through long enough when you're trying to do it yourself. He allow you to keep going through until you realize you can't do it by yourself. Some of you walk around, I pulled myself by my own bootstrap. You had somebody else strapped for somebody else's boots and they were Jesus. Are y'all following me? And you didn't pull yourself up. Jesus' boots lifted you. Or he got in your bootstraps. What else is hope? Come on. An opinion or in what? A belief, opinion or belief not amounting to what? But grounding on what? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Grounding on substantial evidence, what? The Christian indulge a hope that his sins Anybody believe your sins are forgiven? I said anybody here believe your sins are forgiven? The Bible said we're saved by hope. That means, in other words, we're saved by faith. Not a word lest any man. Do I have any believers? I said, do I have any believers? 